I think somebody requested a tutorial for this effect. So this is how we can create this. Obviously, we're going to need a text plus. So just bring this from your title section and then you can style it however you want or go inside Fusion to style it. I'm going to open this text in Fusion and I'm just going to write whatever text right there. Now, after the styling is ready, go to the layout section right here and we're going to change the type to path. Now that you're here, what you can do is either manually draw the path right here or what you can do is right clicking anywhere on your screen, go down to template path, then go to create and then select rectangle. Here on the size, you can choose whichever you want and leave it by default. We're going to change it either way. Then we're going to drag these points and you see how right now it already looks a little bit weird because it's sort of like counterclockwise for some reason. So if you move these along the path, it looks weird. So to fix this, what we can do is bring these points from the right to this side. And I do that by holding shift so that they move directly and they don't so that they move a little bit more in a straight line right there. And then I move them two points at a time so that both of those points are always aligned and the rectangle shape is not lost. You can move them holding shift like this, or you can also use the shift and your arrow keys by moving to move them like that. Here you can adjust the size of the path and also you can adjust the size of your text right here along the path. I want this to be a little bit smaller. So I'm just going to make them smaller like that there. Okay, now that we're there, we're going to click on the position and path and create a keyframe at zero. After we've created that first keyframe, we're going to go to frame 119, which by default is what it would be if it, this was a, a five seconds composition. So we're just going to we're just going to set the position and path to one right here. Okay, And that should be a complete turn around our shape. Okay, after we have our text doing a complete round around our rectangle, we want to go to the spline tool here and we're going to select all of these and then turn these into a loop. That way it continuously repeats itself. Now we're going to create the duplicates by pressing under the spacer and adding a duplicate node. Then we're going to go to copies, set this to 10 and on time offset, set this to negative 12. Now at frame 120 or 119, all of them will show up. But if you press play, you will see that they have a delay from the time each of them shows up because of that time offset option. We're going to fix that in a second. If we look from the frame 119 and on, this looks or acts as a normal loop. So how can we make this to start at zero with all of the text already on screen? For that, we're going to use a time stretcher. So we're going to click Ctrl and Spacebar and then add a time stretcher. Here at frame zero, we're going to set the source time, which will be the frame to 119. And then at 119, we're going to do 119 by 2, which is 238. But now if we press play, we can see that they all start on screen. Now, when this breaks is if you make your composition right here, which is already 23 seconds long, if I press five right here, bring back to five, you'll see that it breaks. So this has to be this has to be at least 10 seconds long, right? Which will be like 38 frames for it to work. But then one thing I forgot, make sure to go to the time stretcher and then with these also set these into a loop with a spline to right here. Now this will continuously play. So what if you don't want to show this effect for that long? Well, you can put whatever other clip right here in front of it or on top of it to cover it and then you're set. Or what you can do is right click on these and then create a compound clip with the text name, let's say text, and then you can just cut it whatever and then you can still have that effect for that amount of, line, of time. Now, if you want to adjust the speed of these, you're going to have to play around a lot more with the template here, position and path and the keyframe amounts and also the duplicate amounts uh, delay offset. But I will leave that to you. But if you want to download these project files to play around with, check out Suave.com and then find it there. And that is it for today's video. Come back tomorrow for more.